Sure. Yeah. Hey guys, Vincent Wayne here for Slash Gear. I got Jeff. Jeff's going to give us a quick walkthrough of Q, Cadillac User Experience System. All right. So we're, we start with Q. We start with an 8 inch fully capacitive touchscreen. This is a multi point touch capacitive touchscreen. So, what it means, it's, it's similar to what we always use in our everyday lives tablets or iPhones. So, if I, if I browse on the screen here, get myself, let's say, into like a long song list, I can drag down the side. Um, I can flick within the list, I can find, drag up and down within the list, and once this thing is done indexing, it's pulling in all my data right now, which is the what that's doing in the corner there, I'll actually get an A to Z list down here. So if I'm in F and I want to get to T, just press the letter T and I can fly right to that spot in the list. So that is the start of Q based on our full capacitive touchscreen. What's different about this capacitive touchscreen, I'm sorry. Pinch and spread also supported on this for a map. Zoom in and zoom out using your pinch and spread, so very intuitive interface. What's different about this touch screen that's not the same with your phone or your tablet is you're always looking at your tablet when you're playing with it, so you always know it's responding to you. We've put in something in Q called haptic feedback. It's a pulse you get on your finger when you're interacting with the system. We put it over the entire surface of the display and the controls so that when you touch either anywhere on the display or on the controls, you'll feel the pulse and that pulse will tell you that Q is responding to your, uh, your interaction. Our third key technology here in Q is what we call real reveal on approach proximity sensing. It's the same thing used on your iPhone or your Android phone. When you make a call and you hold the phone up to your ear, the way your phone doesn't end the call with your ear's contact on the surface, it detects it's held up to your ear by this proximity sensing and disables the touch screen. We use it in a different way and I'm going to ask you to focus on the touch screen here. We have a very clean, elegant, uncluttered interface. As I approach the screen but before I get to it, Q comes to life. It recognizes that I'm going to interact with it and gives me the necessary controls to interact with the system at that time. Our next technology that we've brought in is uh, we've changed our architecture. We actually put this thing on most, the most bus for high speed communications between the cluster and the center stack. When we did that, we freed up what is traditionally the space where a big silver box would exist in a car. Um, and what we did by doing that, we, we enabled a very nice lighted motorized uh, storage bin with a lighted USB port in there. We have other USB ports and SD card slots in our uh, center console here, um, but this is a very, obviously prominent in uh, premier storage within the vehicle. As you hold, you'll feel the pulse and uh, it will close. Okay. That's a nice little secret compartment. This is nice when the wire comes out. Yes, and we it's made nice it. Touch. We did that because we thought of, you know, um, a lot of people are using tablets now, and tablets aren't going to fit in there. Obviously, your phone fits in there easily, but that way, if you have a tablet, you want to put it on the seat, passenger seat in front of you, you can do that and close the cord right in the. Uh, does it charge while there. I'm plugged in? It does charge. It actually provides up to one amp of charging, so it has no problem supporting, you know, uh, the latest devices with charging as well. So I'll move you on to the cluster and the steering wheel controls if I can. Um, what we've done, and I talked about most 50, and our ability to high speed communicate between both the cluster and the center stack. Um, so on the steering wheel here, I'm going to point to the right side uh, controller. This is a four way with center select video game type controller. And as you see, as I'll interact with the cluster, I'm going to go right to left. Um, I'm changing what's in the cluster from right to left. Um, once I'm inside of something, I can actually remote browse my iPod within the cluster. Um, if I hold down, I will actually get myself, oh, I'm indexing, sorry, I won't get myself into an alpha acceleration. Um, because I'm indexing, if I was done indexing, I would get myself into an alpha acceleration. I can show you that here um, uh, when, when we're done. Um, but I can actually choose a song um, and actually begin to play that song um, while I'm going here. I can do that for also for phone. I... So I showed you... Um, what do I want to take you through? Sorry, I want to remember. I want to take you through the cluster. Okay. Um, and I want to take you through favorites and the application tray. Okay. So, start is okay? Yep. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is the idea of um, how we have this four-way controller with center select and how we can control functions in queue um, using this four-way controller and center select. So, what we have is we can go from side to side in the cluster and create an active area for putting your driver information like your speed or your trip odometer or your fuel economy. But in the center largest area, we give you the ability to control music, um, phone, or navigation controls. So I can actually, from here, by entering center select, go down to music search, I can remote browse my iPod. So I can go into artists, 
And if I have a long list and I press and hold down, you'll see an alpha acceleration come up that allows me to quickly get to where I want to go and then eventually choose a song um, from where I am. I can do the same thing for a list of phone contacts and initiate a phone call um, or also get my turn-by-turn -turn instructions in the cluster as well. Is that okay? Okay, now I'm going to take you this way. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right, so some of the... <clears throat> you good? You guys okay? So... Uh, we've, we've designed Q to be intuitive for the user. It can be as simple as getting in and, and going to an AM, FM, XM radio station, just controlling your volume, or you can go as far as full customization of Q. And what do I mean by that? So in this audio screen, you're going to see something at the top of the screen, <clears throat> what we refer to as our application tray. Um, it's a quick pick tray that allows you to quickly switch between applications in Q, so I can quickly get to the phone screen and the same five things are up there. Um, and you, same thing with navigation as well. Um, what I can do is if I go to the home screen, just like I would customize a, um, something on a phone or a tablet, press and hold on the phone screen, I get into an edit mode. Let's say I'm a big Pandora user, but I really don't, uh, I don't know, I don't care about the weather much. I can pull the weather out of the application tray, drag Pandora up into the application tray. Now when I exit my screen and I go into an audio control, now Pandora is one of those that's always available to me. So we limit that to five, but that's purposeful. Five easy to quick pick you know, applications that I can uh, um, um, get between without being distracted or having to go back to the home screen to get to where I want to be. Well, a customization I want to show you in Q is the idea of favorites. Favorites in traditional systems are AM, FM, or XM radio stations, and that's all. Um, in Q, we've made the idea of favorites anything you want it to be in queue. So we can have AM, FM, XM radio stations as we show here. Let's say um, I want Hinder. I have to wake up every morning and listen to Hinder as a band. Um, if I press and hold on this favorite here, I'll have the option of saving the artist, the album, the song, or the genre as a favorite. So I'll save the artist and now Hinder as a favorite. So anytime I press that, it will create a playlist of Hinder on the fly. Um, we can do that for um, artists, albums, songs, playlists, genres, phone numbers, phone contact cards to bring up the contact information for the person with that phone number. Um, we can create it for um, navigation destinations they have up here already. Uh, we can create it for something like Starbucks as a POI category. So if I press that, it will find all the nearest Starbucks to me. Um, I can do it even for things like uh, if I'm on XM radio. A, lot, a popular thing to do, obviously, is tag songs in your XM radio. That was in the menu I just went in. Um, instead of having that be in the menu, I can go in this menu, pull up my favorite, and say, oh, sorry. Say I want to save tag song as a favorite. Exit out of here, and now tag song is available to me on the first layer of screen anytime I want. We can save up to 60 favorites. We can show up to 15 at a time on multiple pages. Um, or I can bring it back down to showing a single row, um, or I can hide them in, uh, in, in their entirety as well, um, and then just go between the rows. Is that okay? All right. The last thing I want to show you as a, a key technology, when you do it, get close to those guys, okay. and you'll see it recognized. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Oh my god, that's like... Or get close to that car and I'll recognize that car. Will it? Yeah, I'll give you like a little like exclamation point and your seat will vibrate. Keep going. Are you sure, man? Yeah. Will it stop me? Uh, no, you don't have the brake <laughs> on. That's why keep going. You're okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm getting kind of nervous here because I can't keep see going. it. I can see it. I can see it. You're okay. Okay. Are you Is feeling that, it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, yep. Oh my gosh, that's so funky. So as you get closer... It's, or if, it's proximity, or right? here, It's yeah. telling me... You know, if you want to go do this again, I'll let you hold it. Just put it in reverse and keep it in reverse. Let uh -huh. me get out. And I'll show, it, I'll show you. It'll recognize me as I walk behind the car. You're not allowed back in here. <laughs> so did you feel? Did you yeah. See the exclamation point. And, and the seats were and the vibrating. Seats vibrating. Yeah. So it recognized that I was like it was like rear cross traffic. It like saw me coming. Wow, I didn't see that coming. It's like this is a dangerous area.
And at what point does it start coming up here again? Like vibrating? Yeah. You would have to get a little closer to them, probably. Because I'm in the red already. It doesn't see them yet, so you're pretty far from...